We're right now closing the doors and we'll be pushing back shortly. Everybody please uh, return to your seat. My name is Eric Pilonbigno from Canada. I'm here for uh, in Russia to continue on with Project 7. Project 7 is an initiative where I am planning to climb seven of the highest mountains on each continent in the world. Uh, it's a mix of adventure, a great way to experience some cultures, and most importantly, raise some money for a great cause. Um, all the money that's being raised is being donated to uh, brain research for brain-related illnesses. So again, as I mentioned, I'm in Russia here to start things off at Mount Elbrus um, with RMH, and uh, we're looking ready to get things going. Russia, where do I start? In many ways, it's like stepping into the past, yet living in the present. It has so much amazing energy and beauty, yet parts of it feel so sad. The people seem cold at first, but once I stepped into their lives and villages, it was overwhelming how warm and welcoming they were. They are incredibly genuine and caring people. They heavily valued friendship and family and quickly reminded me of what fundamentally matters most in life. We already dropped all the equipment to the pod, so right now we're going up to 4,100 meters. The weather looks like pretty good. Uh, we'll try to summit the day early, so tomorrow night. It's gonna be a long day, baby. Woo! Even just since we were here. This is our final supper. The summit. I'll show you how Canadians do it like that. Nice. <laughs> Motivation to climb mountains and experience new cultures comes not only from my own pursuit of adventure, but also from the drive to help and make a difference. Standing on the summit is always a nice bonus. It's a strange mix of adrenaline, achievement, yet it's incredibly humbling at the same time. You experience this whirlwind of varying emotions and thoughts, all while witnessing a view that cannot be captured in words or photography. I really can't explain what it feels like to stand on top of Europe. It feels like a dream when I think about it. <laughs> yeah, still going? Okay. Yeah, it's. Uh, I was kind of open. I wasn't really sure what to expect coming to Russia, coming to the Caucasus Mountain. Um, bit of time in Moscow since we've been down here. Uh, it's been amazing actually. It's been really neat. We've got to kind of see all levels from down to the green trees and uh, you know the beautiful hot temperatures of 30s or I don't know 85 an American temperature whatever that is all the way down to uh, you know it gets the pretty cold freezing here at night so it's uh, it's been great so far. You know, there's three of us. I think we've uh, we've condensed the schedule, but I think we've got a pretty good shot. So I'm pretty confident, and excited. We're gonna we're gonna get there tonight. So um, also, what I can say about Caucasus Mountains, um, I'm a local here. I live in Piatigorsk. It's uh, just a couple hours from from this region, and uh, I walk here like for the five months a year, every day, and uh, and it's actually 
every sunset is different, so it's always beautiful and uh, I'm really happy to be here every day and every time and uh, look at that. Look it's just that. like in the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not too sure if they if it should be you see me? Should just yeah. squeeze in. Get in there. Yeah, we're gonna make it tomorrow morning. <laughs> Do you guys right. you think we're gonna make it? Of we course. We fucking better make it. Yeah. Better? Okay. We're gonna make it. Yeah, they 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 think we're gonna make it. I don't know. Who? You. Yeah, but who'd you say they, huh? You. Oh I thought you said they. Do no, you think I we're gonna make it. Camera. Oh yeah, we're gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying like these guys said we weren't gonna make it. I was like,